and then the co-main event. I guess we'll close on the co-main event. This will be this will be a, a performance bonus, I think. Emmanuel Sanchez against Mad Burnell. Uh, Mads Burnell. This is a crazy fight. This is such a good fight. And such great matchmaking here. Um, and like I said, um, Emmanuel Sanchez's only stoppage loss in his career was in the featherweight semifinals against Pitbull. And he's going to be looking to bounce back. And uh, Mads Burnell, 27 years old out of Denmark. He looks to be on like a career resurgence. Uh, he put together he's put together six fight winning streaks since he was cut from the UFC back in 2018. He's the former uh, Cage Warriors featherweight champion. He's won seven of his last professional fights with five of his last seven wins coming by way of stoppage. This is a fight that's just uh, it's fireworks waiting to happen. This is another one. Fight goes the distance. No. Uh, let's see what that's at. This is a coin flip fight right now. Fight goes the distance. No is at plus 140. Oh, my God. Woohoo. That's beautiful. I don't understand what they're thinking. I don't understand what the market's thinking. Um, uh, yeah, Mads Burnell, since his 2017 UFC debut, is 7-2 and two with five of those seven wins inside the distance. All you know, Seven of his last nine fights have not gone the distance. Fight goes the distance no in his career uh, since the UFC debut. From UFC, Cage Warriors to Bellator, fight goes the distance. No, seven and two for plus five point three eight units. <clears throat> and I guess this kind of makes sense. Uh, Manuel Sanchez, ten and four since twenty fifteen, six of those ten wins by decision. So it's kind of one of those fights where it's like um, the longer it goes, the more <clears throat> the more it favors. Sanchez as far as just uh win probability and you know Mads Brunel submission specialist he's won by a Japanese necktie uh I think like two fights ago he won two in a row that way with that Japanese necktie super dangerous guy man uh his striking is uh awkward I'll say He's I'm not saying he's bad. It's just it's unorthodox. And uh, Manuel Sanchez is just a freaking killer, man. And uh, he's he's one of those. He's he's really good. But if he goes up, you know, the, he's zero and two against Pitbull. When he goes up to that up like that other level, basically against Pitbull, he gets stopped. But you know, he's uh, he's. He's very, very good, and this is going to be a like unbelievable fight. Uh, I'm super excited for this one. But yeah, I gotta say, as far as my pick goes, uh, I gotta let's look at the the odds. You get plus money on both sides right now at DraftKings plus one hundred on Sanchez at FanDuel plus one hundred four. Um, <clears throat> this is another one where we'll probably have to bet whatever side ends up closing at plus money. You know what I'm thinking, right? It's got to be fight goes distance. No, that's that's a beauty of a play right there. As far as a pick goes, though, I got to go with Emmanuel Sanchez. I just think he's going to bounce back. Uh, but if uh, Burnell wins this fight, he probably does it in the first round. But if this fight reaches the second round, I think uh, it's Sanchez's fight to lose. Uh, I, yeah, I lean. I'll say that it's probably going to be either Mads Burnell wins inside the distance or Emmanuel Sanchez wins by decision. Uh, but I mean, that's not to say that Sanchez can't get it, get it done either. He's won four, four of his last ten wins. Yeah, four of his last ten wins inside the distance. But it's more than likely for me that he wins this by decision. But I gotta say, 
I do like that fight goes the distance. No, man. Uh, fight goes the distance. No, and probably Emmanuel Sanchez on the money line. But uh, I gotta. I, I'm still not totally sure. And again, you want to get uh, all my plays from UFC Vegas 33 and Bellator 263 this weekend. Hit up the Patreon. Five Canadian dollars a month. And you get uh, all my plays. And then, look, we got some plays going to uh, UFC 265, UFC 266, Woodley versus Paul. Um, yeah, you know, we got Spence versus Pacquiao coming up. We got uh, Tyson Fury against Deontay Wilder. And uh, the Patreon members got uh, – we, we were on Brit- Britain Hart pretty heavily. It wasn't a uh, pretty money line. It was like minus 220, but – um, Patreon members were on it. We crushed it. And uh, luckily we did because <laughs> Saturday, this past Saturday, was a bit of a bloodbath.